Friday tip. On this particular Freedom Friday, we're going to be talking about notebooks. So when you go into Canva, you can create um, a couple different types of notebooks. And the reason for this tutorial today is because I had a friend who um, did a CEO retreat weekend. I know you, if you saw my stories, you saw um, another friend of mine, Tyranny. She did a whole blog post about taking these kind of weekends. So it was very interesting that another friend and client of mine did this same thing um, she went to Greensboro she booked herself a room and she got a lot of work done and I'm super super proud of her um, once she created her welcome packet for her new clients um, one of the things she worked on was a notebook but she wasn't sure how to combine the line pages and the cover in the back of the notebook so initially what she did was went into Canva and typed in notebook right so you click on notebook and it brings up all of these different templates and as you can see with these types of notebooks you have um, the notebooks that fold in half so this is the front and this is the back right um, of the notebook and so initially that's what she selected okay so when she selected it she came up with this notebook right but in a separate Canva project, she created the note sections for the notebook and she didn't know how to combine them. So um, once I got on the phone call with her, she said she actually didn't even want the notebook to fold in half. She wanted it to be where it had the spirals at the top and they can just flip over. So I was like, well, let's just change the sizing of it. Keep your notes so you don't have to reinvent the wheel with that. And we'll just move the cover and the back of the notebook over here to this one. So here's what I did. Um, first and foremost, I just clicked on the add page button so I can hit add page and move that up because now this is going to be the cover. I went back to the um, selection where she had the project where she had the folding notebook. Um, and so I just copied that information there. And I did that by simply just highlighting I'll do that again, Hi, um, moving my cursor to the outside of the, the actual item. And I'm not using my mouse, I'm using my pad on my um, MacBook, so sorry. So I clicked on the pad and I just moved the cursor out so it can highlight. And as you can see, all of these lines are all around here now. So that means all of these items that I've highlighted are now all grouped together. So I copied it. And now I'm going to go back over here to this document and paste it. And I know you're like, what? It doesn't look the same. The formatting is the same. And this is where she was at. She was freaking out. She was like, what in the world? I don't know how to fix this. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to do it. And so I took over <laughs> and I helped her fix it. So I'm just simply going to drag that down. I'm going to copy the box and move it down here and resize that a little bit and that lets me know that this probably needs to go up a little bit more and so I'm gonna move that so now it's half and half right but I want her other color so in order to get this color I'm gonna click inside that section and you see it provides that color right there so I'm now just gonna click on that color and if you highlight over it it shows you the color I will rather copy and paste this. So in order for me to get that code, I'm just going to click on new color and there's the color code there. I'm just going to copy it, go back over here, go inside of where that color is and put it um, inside of that search bar. So now there's her other color. So we don't want to keep it like this because um, it just is off, right? So now I'm just going to take the section right here and I'm going to move that down here a little bit. Uh-oh. Undo. And I want to bring this back up. Now I noticed that there was something a little off with it. So I'm going to resize it because I want her full, full logo to show. So I'm gonna put that there. Move it over just a tad bit and you're gonna see why in a minute. And then I'm gonna take this and move it to the middle. 
bring it out and I'm just resizing it just so I can get a good size for this um, make sure that's centered but then it looks like it's missing something right like it's it's not everything is not everything right so I was like wait a minute your butterfly let's put that on there so I'm gonna go over here and you see that butterfly that's in the back I'm just gonna click on it and copy it and pull it over here and resize that a little bit and I know you're like, wait, we we can't see it. What's the point? We can't see it. So her butterfly is typically white. I didn't have a copy of her white butterfly, but that's not going to stop me. I'm going to recolor it. So in order to do that, I'm just going to keep this highlighted and I'm going to click on effects. I want to do a duo tone. I'm just going to click inside of that. And I'm going to choose cherry. And then you see these little setting brackets come up. I'm going to click on that. And where it says highlight, I'm going to change all of these colors to white. And then the same thing for the shadows. I'm going to change it to white. And you do not need to know the color code. If you don't know the color code, that's totally fine. You can just drag the dropper around. And so now you see that it's white, but it's still really really light we can't see so I'm just going to change the transparency and make it full transparency and now it's white all right so now I'm like this still is missing a little something so I went over to elements and I added a border and because this was the last color I I picked not entered in but picked it's going to pull that color but no worries we're going to change it I'm just going to resize this border a little bit. And then I want to change that to white. And there we have it. Super, 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 super cute, right? So she loved it. I liked it. But now we have to do the back part of it, right? So I'm just going to duplicate the page. And instead of hitting this down button to move it down, 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 I'm going to hit this little grid view right here. So now I can take it and move it all the way to the end. And because I've done this for her already, I'm just going to repeat what I did. Okay. So I'm just going to click in here for the purpose of this tutorial and show you what I did. So we're going to take this off. Oh, actually, let me position this to the back because I don't need it just yet um, take that off I'm gonna leave that there but she had this phrase up here that she liked move that and put that there got this back so I just want to grab this and move it to the front okay now, position it forward. All right, perfect. So now we have a very similar look for the back part of it. And now when she gets it, um, when they bind it, they can bind it the way that she needs to. And she has all of her notebook pages in here as well. So creating in Canva really doesn't have to be that difficult. If you would like some pointers, some tips, I do have a mini course um, for only $25 that you guys can enroll in and take and it gives you all kinds of Canvas tips and tricks. Thank you for joining for Freedom Friday and I will see you.